in uh, in Disato in Banaras, Kashi. But he also giving much regard to Sarvabhava Bhattacharya Gata. He was also very big for the Prasanthanda Saraswati in Sankar school. And Sarvabhava Bhattacharya also teaching the philosophy of Sankar, Acharya, in Puri Dham. And that time, he was was learned and knows uh, the clue of other scriptures. And that way, when he has seen Mahaprabhu's form, fainted away in front of Srila Jagannath Dev, he immediately gazed. He is a great devotee, and in his body I am looking many symptoms of Krishna brain. This way, he gave much nourishment to Mahaprabhu, taking his uh, the body in his house. And when Mahaprabhu come in sense, he has seen Sadhu in his front, and also other devotees met in the house of Sadhu to hear uh, from the people. Uh, Sadhu took Mahaprabhu in his house, and Sadhu when he heard Mahaprabhu coming from Navadhi, Chaitanya uh, Dev. Krishna Chaitanya, his name, Sanyas name was Krishna Chaitanya. He was very affectionate, that is, his house was in Vidyanagar, here, Sarvabhama's house, father's house. And when he heard he son of Jagannath Mishra, his affection, very uh, nice way come for Mahaprabhu. And he gave much nourishment, prasadam, etc. And looking Mahaprabhu's form, he is thinking he is young sannyasi, but great devotee of Krishna, no doubt. But he is not thinking Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Bhagavan. But his brother in law, Gopinath Acharya, he was devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he knows form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Lord Krishna, non-different Sri Krishna. But Sarvabhu would not believe that, that. And Sarvabhu was great pundit. That is, he is thinking, oh, Gopinath Acharya, he also great pundit. But Sarvabhu was very exalted. And he is thinking, Gopinath is very soft mind man. That is, he is thinking he is Bhagavan. But it is not true, and it is not possible in this Kali Yuga, Bhagavan will come in form of mankind, man body, taking a human body. That is, scripture said, he is three Yuga, not four Yuga. Three Yuga means Sutta, Teta, Dhapar. Yuga, his avatar is possible. But Kali Yuga, his avatar is not possible. It is we are looking in scripture. But Gobinath Acharya was great pundit in Srimad Bhagavatam. And he, that is his relation with Sarvabhava Bhattacharya, very close. Uh, Sarvabhava Bhattacharya, Gobinath Acharya, Kesha, Bhaginipati. Uh, Gobinath Acharya, Sarvabhava Bhaginipati. Uh, the sister's husband, Gopinath Acharya, was sister husband. Mm. Then close relation, and he joking away, telling, "Yo, Shala, huh? Shala, That means uh, he, he married Sarvabhata Acharya, married the sister of Gopinath Acharya, and they have close relation. But both are great pundits. Sarvabhuma was in Sankara school, Gopinath Acharya 
in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and devotional line. Then Gopinath Acharya easily told to Sarvabhoma, oh, you are thinking you are a great pundit, but you do not know what is uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, Srimad Bhagavatam said, the Channa Kalautri, the Jada Bhavastri Jivota Shattam. In Kali Yuga, they are also uh, incarnation of Krishna. But it is suppressed way. Written in Srimad Bhagavatam, but you have not seen that. And what you are looking in the body of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, symptoms of Krishna present, you have seen before it? Sarvabhava said, no, I have not seen before. But I, have, I not believe he is Krishna, what you are telling. And which way? Uh, I, I shall believe it. Sarvabhava said, it is probably true that if he not will be kind enough to someone, he cannot understand his form. Then Sarvabhama jokingly told, maybe I am not uh, got mercy of Lord, but you have got the mercy of Lord, what is proof there? Now Acharya told, Ishwari Kripalesh, Hayato Yahare, Sei Shishwar Tattu Vidhi Vare Pare. See Krishna, uh, bless, give, uh, give, giving mercy to his devotee, anybody, he can understand uh, the Krishna. And Sabha said, which way you understand, you are not great devotee. But Gopinath Acharya said, I am not great devotee, but uh, I have got his mercy. That is, I can understand his power. Anyway, they are talking something. And Sarvabhumu gave, gave much prasadam to the devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda uh, Prabhu. Then Sarvabhumu in very affectionate way told to Mahaprabhu, um, you are very young and you cannot uh, Maybe maintain your sannyas life if you not give hearing the about Vedanta Darshan. I want to teach you Vedanta Darshan. If you like, I shall give again sannyas in high rank position. That is sannyas, Mahaprabhu took sannyas from Bharati Sampradaya. Bharati Sampradaya, ten, ten names of some. Sanyasi, uh, Tirtho Ashram, Bon, Aranya, Giri, Parvat, Sajar, Bharati, Puri, Saraswati. Then Sanyasi, uh, Sampradaya, organized by Shankaracharya, there is two classes. One class is high class and second, first class and second class like that. The Mahaprabhu took Sanyas. <laughs> they are thinking it is second class sannyas. Then he is telling, I shall bring you in first class. He was Grihastha, but he was guru of sannyasi. When he sannyasi was his disciple. That is, he was great pundit and uh, master in Shankar school. Then many sannyasi learning from Shankaracharya. A learning from Sarvabhava Bhattacharya and he wants to teach Mahaprabhu Shankar Vedanta and this way he told you can maintain your renounced life. And Mahaprabhu is very humble. He said, yes, I am your boy like your son. As you like you can do, I shall read from you. I shall uh, try to read from you, if you like. Then Sarvabhavata Chattya started to teach Mahaprabhu uh, Vedanta Darsha as interpreted by Sankaracharya. Mahaprabhu seven days giving his hearing, uh, sitting in his um, asana. But 
not giving any commentary and not asking anything question to Sarvabhu Then Sarvabhu was surprised. I heard his name, this boy is Nimai Pandit and he was a great Pandit but very young and not all round that. But he is great Pandit but what he is not asking any question to me. I am telling what I am telling, he is giving hearing. I know only or not, I do not know. Then he is asking, seven days I try to teach you the Sankar Vedanta, but you are not telling anything. Can you understand what I am telling? <coughs> then Sarvamo said, yes, I understand the meanings of the Vedanta Shastra. Uh, but cannot understand what you are telling. Then Mahaprabhu said, it is miracle. You can understand the meanings of the Vedanta Sutram and cannot understand what I am telling. What is this? Yes, what interpretation you are giving, I am thinking that is wrong. What I am giving, that given by Shankaracharya. Then Mahaprabhu said, maybe given by Shankaracharya, but it is not real meanings of Vedanta Darshan, I think. Then Sarvabhu Bhattacharya, he is very surprised and he told, why is there wrong? Oh, Mahaprabhu said, I am thinking everything is there. What you are telling, everything is wrong. It is not real meanings of Vedanta Darshan. Then talking with Sankara, Sarvabhu Bhattacharya, a few hours, Sankara, Sarvabhu think, yes, Nimai Pandit is great, no doubt, but he uh, told Nimai Pandit, uh, Mahaprabhu, yeah, what is your opinion? When I would have given a Hashokikival interpretation. You can say, Mahaprabhu said, it is already Vedabhyasi he told in Srimad Bhagavat. And that is the opinion of Vedabhyas. What necessary my opinion? Vedabhyas composed Vedanta Darshan very short way, the gist of Vedas. And he understand that everybody cannot understand this Vedanta Darshan's meaning. Then he composed Srimad Bhagavata. And that is the highest uh, interpretation of Vedanta Darshan. Then not need to tell again by me. Then Mahaprabhu told this sloka, Bhashoyam Brahma Sutra Bharatartha Vinirna Gayatri Bhashya Rupasho Vedartha Paribhindita. The Vedanta Darshan's interpretation, Vashadev himself given in Srimad Bhagavatam. Then Srimad Bhagavatam is the interpretation of Vedanta Darshan. And if you read Srimad Bhagavatam, there you will see the Bhagavan. He is not Niraka, Nirveshesh, Nishra. In Srimad Bhagavatam, you will see the Bhagavan is Sakar, Savishesh, and Sashakti. Sakar means he has form, transcendental form. And he has the power that is transcendental power. Niraka, Nirvishesh. And he has the activity. That's his past time. And that's also transcendent. And you are telling, following the line of Sankaracharya, he has no form, he has no power, and he has nothing. But Vedas or Vedantas or Upanishad, never we are looking your conception, what you are following as Sankar Acharya. 
they taught many way. Mahaprabhu told, uh, quoted many slokas from Upanishad, many slokas from Srimad Bhagavatam, and many slokas from Veda, and given nice interpretation of Vedanta Darshan in the line of Srimad Bhagavatam. In Vedanta Darshan, we are looking at the Dharma Jigyasa, first Sutra. Second Sutra is Janmadusya Jata. Third Sutra is Tattu Samanaya. Fourth Sutra is Katerna Shabdam, like that. Okay. <laughs> and he, Mahaprabhu, given the interpretation following the Srimad Bhagavatam slogans. And he told, yes, when searching, real searching tendency with faith coming to the Jiva soul, he thought will see first Janma Dushodaka, the second sutra, Athato Brahma Jikasa, when our such tendency in this mundane world is failure. Then, if anybody wants to search more than that, for him, second sutra is Janmatha Shajata. And he given the explanation following the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Vedanta has given that interpretation Janmatha Shajata Nayati Dorata Sharthi Savikha Sharat. Tene Brahma Hida Jayadi Kava Yemu Janti Jat Suraya, Tejo Bari Mirangi Jat Habini Mayu Jat Tisha Gumisa, Hamna Senu Sadanyasta Kohakam, Chakam Karam Dhimati. And Vedukta said, He is Satyam, that is Mane, what is he? Basta. Basta. Basta Mane, reality. We say Krishna, He is Krishna. And his form, reality, is the beautiful form. Such for Sri Krishna, reality, the beautiful, that uh, is in that slogan. And this way, he uh, defeated Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya. But Sarvabhomas have much uh, uh, ego. Mahaprabhu defeated many way, but he is not. Mm, mm, stopping. Then Mahaprabhu said one sloka, Yatmara Mastrimayu Nirbantaya Prutkrame Kudbanta Hitri Bhakti Mittam Yuta Guna. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and all the qualities of beauty and everything within Him. Then why you are going other way? Then Sarvabhu Bhattacharya think, I shall tell this boy, Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya, Je, you give interpretation of this sloka of Srimad Bhagavatam. And he told, can you explain this sloka? And Mahaprabhu said, yes, but you are my master. You try, you give some explanation, I want to hear first. And which way you will explain it, I want to hear. Then Sadhu Bhattacharya took many ways and nine kind of explanation he explained in front of Mahaprabhu. After he stopped and he said, my explanation this way, now finish. Now I want to hear what is your explanation. That Mahaprabhu smiled something <laughs> and told Sadhguru, Sadhguru Bhattacharya, you are a great Pandit and you have, you have much knowledge about all the scriptures. Then with your mundane knowledge and strength, of intelligence, you explain it, no doubt. But this is not real meanings of that sloka. <laughs> then Mahaprabhu explained 
without touching his any commentary, explained 18 kinds of way that sloka. And hearing that, Sadhguru Bhattacharya started. And his mood changed already. And he think, yes, he is Bhagavan. Otherwise cannot explain this way. He can do anything, now I believe it. Then he told to Mahaprabhu, nobody can explain this way. Uh, man, man, human. No human can explain this way. And I surprised to hear uh, your explanation. And I am thinking it is true. Then Mahaprabhu shown his form to Sadhu When Mahaprabhu said, the Sadhu Hobo come uh, out from the illusion of uh, the Abhidda. Mm -hmm. Ignorance. Huh? Ignorance. Ignorance. Abhidda means ignorance. ignorance. Then Mahaprabhu gave him his mercy and showed his form. And that is his ideal idea was the Krishna is Trijuga. Then he showed his form first. Uh, uh, the uh, Ram, Chandra and Krishna and then he shown Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in a body, in one body he shown six uh, hand and three uh, four as Ramchandra, as Krishna and as Chaitanya and looking at Sadhguru and Krishna and Mahaprabhu take him and Sadhguru he told, I have done much offense. Yeah? And he is slapping his <laughs> cheek. And thousands of thousand uh, times he is trying to take Mahaprabhu's feet. And Gopinath Acharya and others come to see the mood of Sarvabhava, they also very surprised. They, a few hours ago, Sarvabhava was very proud and great pundit. Now I am, we are looking. He is a great devotee of Chaitanya today. And they are also very happy to see the mood of Sarvabhava Tachacha. And when Mahaprabhu shown his form, then his, all the doubts gone out. And he believed. Yes, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, he appeared uh, in form of Chaitanya Dev, but he is non different to Krishna and Radha Krishna, both in his body. This way his idea comes. Uh, feelings also, this way, come in the heart of Sarvam Bhattacharya. And Mahaprabhu, he is giving uh, him much respect till that time. And he is telling, yes, Gopinath Acharya, your relative, and that way your mind changed. Not with me, maybe Gopinath Acharya, with Gopinath Acharya. And Gopinath Acharya telling Prabhu, who can uh, tell what is your pastime? I cannot tell, I am only can see and I enjoy to see your pastime with Sarvabhu Bhattacharya. This way, praise Sarvabhu to Gopinath, Gopinath praise to Sarvabhu and both and all their devotees are praising to Mahaprabhu, you can do miracle. That is Sarvabhu now, uh, your devotee, we are looking. And hearing that Raja Kutabhudra, he also surprised the Sadhu Bhattacharya, he converted by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu this way. 
And later also he asked to, to Sarva Bhuma Bhattacharya, Je, which way he convert you? He said, only by his mercy. Through his mercy I converted by him. Otherwise, not possible to see, see his real form as Lord Krishna. This way, many uh, praising, many in this, this way he is praising Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he is arranging everything for the devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Time to time, he is inviting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his house and always, when Mahaprabhu was in Puri, always Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya, he is giving his service to Sivar Mahaprabhu, preaching. Mahaprabhu, all time, gave him respect to Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya as a great pundit and great devotee. We are looking after that is collector. And when Mahaprabhu going to going for preaching to South India, that time Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya mentions mention the name of Ramananda Rai. And very humbly he told, before I met with Ramananda Rai, but I cannot guess how much big uh, his heart and how big he is as a devotee of Krishna. But by your mercy I can understand the Ramananda Rai is a very good devotee of Krishna and very close associates of Krishna. Then when you are going to the South India, you must meet with him. He is living in Raja Mahimudri. And when <laughs> Ramananda Rai met with Mahaprabhu, then Ramananda immediately discovered Mahaprabhu is Krishna. His heart telling it. But he is looking at sannyasi and giving very nice uh, nourishment to Mahaprabhu. And talking with Mahaprabhu, he is very happy. And Mahaprabhu said, with Sadhubhu Bhattacharya, I was Mayavadi sannyasi, with Sadhubhu Bhattacharya, my mind changed. <laughs> this way, um, we try to make illusion in front of uh, Ramananda Rai, but Ramananda Rai was a great devotee. He cannot hide in front of Raman, uh, Ramananda Rai. And lastly, he shown his form to Ramananda Rai. Rasaraj Mahabhav Bhujya. So with Sadhuho Bhattacharya, that conversation, Kaviraj Goswami, in the chapter uh, 6, Mantra Lila, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, explained very nicely. And Sri Guru Maharaj, when he uh, want to teach us, In the house of Swami Maharaj, there Guru Maharaj first started that chapter uh, for teaching us the Sadhu Bhattacharya's conversation with Mahaprabhu. And that time environment was very nice. The principle principle, no, conception, conception and principle of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Which way uh, spreading in this world we can understand. He was very eager to smash the Maya Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and he expired a little, what a, inspired, inspired to his devotee. Je, two things is very uh, 
अपने हाथ में आएगी टू थिंग्स इज वेरी बैड फॉर द प्रैक्टिशनर्स लाइफ वन इज मायावाद एंड सेकेंड इज सहजिया मायावाद इट वॉज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन द इंडिया टिल ऑल्सो मायावाद इन इंडिया वी आर लुकिंग वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इट इज इन एवरी हायर बट आफ्टर रामानुज मायावाद कम डाउन इन साउथ इंडिया एंड आफ्टर महाप्रभु वी आर लुकिंग मायावाद इज वेरी वीक इन इंडिया बट दे आर स्टिल लिविंग एंड होल्डिंग पोजिशन इन इंडिया एंड प्रोफा सरस्वती ठाकुर वॉन्ट्स टू स्मैश द मायावाद एंड सहजियाबाद and all his book we are looking this way all the interpretation every hire we are looking they are smashing mahavad and sanjya you have seen two kinds of interpretation in chaitanya charitamrita one given by bhutna thakur and another given by prabhu sarswati thakur sarswati thakur's interpretation of chaitanya charitamrita they are everywhere looking he is guarding us from the mahabha giving god from mahabha first and then shaujya then both are great enemy of the devotional life then we must avoid that association of the mahabha even महाप्रभु हिमसेल्फ सेट इफ यू सी एर वी मायावादी यू मस्ट गो टू गैंजेस एंड वॉश युअर बॉडी देन यू विल क्लीन दिस ए वेरी अनोस्पिस आइडिया ऑफ मायावाद मायावाद इज वेरी and a bad idea about krishna that is mayavadi not uh thinking krishna's body is transcendental krishna's have no power and jiva souls have no uh stability not stability existing independent existence independent existing jiva soul have no independent existing in shankara charya philosophy shankara charya told shankara charya told uh, in one shloka ye shloka adhena pravakshami yadutam grantam koti bhi brahma satyam jagat mithya jiva brahma hi bana kar the brahma is only truth and existing and nothing existing nothing else is existing what you are looking that's all is mind all is illusion there is no uh, mane substance no substance there is no substance that is called maya and ghatakash and patakash this two theory they are using always one is a clay pot if you put there some water and you can see the sun or moon in that clay pot and jiva soul is position like that actually jiva soul is brahma and he have no existing anything when the clay pot will broke then you cannot see there anything and what will fall down and you cannot see there anything and jiva soul position is like that he is uh, reflected in illusion and his position there as a jiva soul but actually he is brahma and when the illusion broken illusionary part is broken 
then you not will see there any existence matter. But Mahaprabhu said, no, Jiva souls, he have also um, uh, separate existence, but very tiny, like the day of sun, like the Jadhasudri Bhagavastarana, um, the ocean and their the Tarunga. Waves. Huh? Waves. 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 Like that. <coughs> but they are in nature, water, no doubt, but waves have also personality there. And that sun's ray, he may be very tiny, but they are also personality. The many suns they in, in through lens can burn this way, but power we are not looking. That is um, very protective, poor power with the zero soul. That is we are not looking that. But when zero soul taking. Uh, astra, center in the body, when taking center in body of human, their power we can see, when taking an elephant, they are also physical power we can see, but is same jiva soul when going birth after birth to body after body, we can see their power of the jiva souls. And that is existing, but that power only for the service to Krishna and nothing else. And that is the real um, what is it? Uh, position of the Jiva soul. The Jiva soul by Krishna Nitya Das, Krishna Tatastha Shakti Veda I cannot explain in English, but. Krishna's have three kinds of power. One, Sharupa Shakti. He is playing with that power and her powerful environment and that is transcendental. And Jiva Shakti, that's also transcendental, but not playing Krishna. Jiva Shakti producing the uh, Jiva souls, producing the Jiva souls. And Maya Shakti, like shadow of that transcendental world, she is also playing like shadow and she is attracting the jiva souls and who is very unfortunate that soul is attracted by maya and playing with maya and getting many dukkha when sadness sorrowness and many things and we are that we are now in that position we are within maya and we are playing with Maya, and Maya played with us. That is, we cannot leave Maya. But when, by the mercy of Guru Vashna and Krishna, then Maya will give relief to us from his, her environment. And immediately we can see the glories of Krishna and form of the transcendental world and enter into the transcendental world by the mercy of the associates of Krishna and devotee of Krishna and we will get there our real service uh, of life. This way uh, Mahaprabhu's philosophy um, explained in Chaitanya Chaitanya and more than that, that is stage by stage it is coming. And when Rasamicha are coming, then more glorified way Jiva Soul's activity we can see. But main thing, Shankaracharya telling yeah, everything is mitta. 
Jagad Mitha, not existing. Huh? But it is not true. Here also, uh, Jagat also Shotto, but it is Parivartan <laughs> Bengali English means change word. Parivartan it is trans change word. Change word. Changeable. Changeable illusion. Uh, and that also is position here. And it is also eternal. That is Chit Jagat when transcendental world existing and must his shadow also will exist. This way. He have existing position like shadow. And Shankaracharya said no shadow. Only existing matter. And he is Brahma. And no Jiva souls have separate uh, existence. But when in the transcendental world explaining in scriptures and Ved Vedanta everywhere, then world, when you will tell world inside of the world must be there everything. Here in this mart you will see here is building, here is temple, here is air, there is tree, there is uh, tulasi. We are seated here. In in the mart, if you say there is one mart, you will think inside of the mart there must be deity, must be cows, must be man, must be god, you know, must, must be trees. They are also doing work, they are also worshipping. Uh, this way, existence, you can uh, guess when you will have one mod on Ashram. Then when you will uh, hear the transcendental world, then inside of the world, everything is there, also they are worshipable. Uh, think must be there. And the Upanishad said, Jyotiram Bhantari Rupam Atulam Shama Shundara. Their supreme personality of Godhead is Krishna, also Srimad Bhagavatam, this idea of Yogi. Jyotiram Bhantari Rupam Atulam Shama Shundara, supreme personality of Godhead Krishna, and everybody is servicing to Krishna. Akola Ishwar Krishna, Arsha Vritta, Jane Jane Chena Chai Sukhoi Chena. There is only person who is taking the devotion in all activities from the devotee. Devotion activity. Yes. Huh? Devotional service. Receiving who is really receiving devotional service from the devotee? That personality is Krishna. And devotees are worshipping him. Through the devotion, uh, many kind of devotion, and there is uh, different rasa, that is Santa Rasa, Sukha Vasala Modu, and through that rasa they are worshipping. And that is the transcendental world. Hare Krishna. Jayam Vishnu Vaparam Shukri Paradi Vajarja Vajarja Shwati 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 Maharaj ki jai, jai Shwamita Vastamandri ki jai, Parinam Shankirtan ki jai, Shwamita Bhaktivinda ki jai, Dhrushnu Anandhe It is very hard matter, I cannot explain in English. Really, I am feeling very poor. Hmm, that is I cannot explain. But the duty comes, <laughs> and I must try, uh, maybe uh, the Tuni Paki, thank you, a small bird, he also tried to fly like that. Mala Hare Krishna, 
Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare. 